this is Solomon Schmidt from HistoryBites.com. Today we're going to talk about the Civil War. At the time of the Founding Fathers, slavery was legal and practiced in all 13 colonies. Slavery was when black people were owned by white people and were forced to do work for them. During the 1780s, some of the northern states ended slavery, which is why they were called free states. By 1804, all of the northern states had made slavery illegal. However, slavery was still legal in the southern states, which is why they were called slave states. Some Americans in the north, called northerners, were not bothered by slavery and just thought it should stay in the south. While other northerners thought that slavery was wrong and that it should be stopped everywhere. But some of the people in the southern states, called southerners, and some northerners did not want the U.S. federal government telling the states what to do, no matter what the issue was. So between 1860 and 1861, 11 southern states decided to separate from the United States and form their own country called the Confederate States of America. When they did this, it was called seceding from the Union. The United States federal government thought that it was wrong for the southern states to do this and started a war over it. This is called the War Between the States, also known as the Civil War. The Northerners and Southerners fought the first battle of the Civil War in 1861. General Ulysses S. Grant led the Northern Army and General Robert E. Lee led the Southern Army. Abraham Lincoln was the American president during this time. He wanted the states to be united again into one country. One of his famous quotes is, A house divided against itself cannot stand. Finally, in 1865, after four long and difficult years of battle, the Southerners lost the war and surrendered to the North. One of those battles took place in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It was the bloodiest battle of them all and involved the largest number of casualties. It is estimated that over 750,000 people died during the Civil War. Many Americans were angry with some of the decisions that President Lincoln made. In the spring of 1865, a Southerner named John Wilkes Booth and a few other men planned to kidnap President Lincoln in exchange for the release of some Confederate soldiers. However, after hearing the President give a speech about wanting to give black people voting rights, John Wilkes Booth became very angry and decided to kill President Lincoln instead. On April 14, 1865, while President Lincoln was attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., Mr. Booth killed him. Many Americans were very sad when President Lincoln died. Although it is widely taught in history, President Lincoln actually freed no slaves. The Emancipation Proclamation only freed slaves behind Confederate lines. The slaves in some other states and Washington, D.C. remained slaves. Eventually, though, in December 1865, after President Lincoln had died, the American government changed the Constitution so that there could be no more slavery in America. This is known as the 13th Amendment, and it is what finally freed all the slaves. This is Solomon Schmidt from HistoryBites.com, and until next time, go learn your history.